In this video, I will be silently installing Microsoft Office 2016 Volume Edition. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And to install Microsoft Office 2016 silently, first we need to create an MSP customization file and then use this file to perform the silent installation. Basically, this customization file is a file that contains all the information for the silent installation and also the configuration for Microsoft Office. And now to create this customization file, I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine and I will be creating the customization file and also performing the silent installation inside of it. As you can see here on my desktop, I have this folder that contains the Office installation files. And now we need to open a tool that is called Microsoft Office Customization Tool. And for that, we need to execute the setup exe with some parameters. And to do that, I will go to my start menu. I will search for CMD. I will run it as administrator. Then I will click yes here and I will navigate my command line to the folder that contains the installation files. So for that, I will click here and copy the location. Then I will type CD in the command line and insert the location in here. Then I will press enter. Then let me switch to the D drive. And if I type there now, you can see that we can see all the installation files. And now to open the customization tool, we need to execute setup.exe and then add a parameter admin. Then let's press enter and wait a bit. And the customization tool finished loading. So now here I will select Microsoft Office Standard. That is the only option that is available for me. And I will click OK. And here I will also click OK. And as you can see with this tool, you can perform a lot of configuration tasks, but for this video, I will only focus on silent installation. And to do that, I will go to licensing and user interface. Here you need to select what type of license you're using, KMS client or Mac keys. For this video, I will select KMS and then I will accept the license terms by checking this box. For display level, I will select none. And here I will leave the checkbox on suppress model. And now I will click on modify set of properties. Here we need to enter a few properties. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have the properties that I will be using. Also, if you want to know more about the properties, you can check out the link that I have here. That brings me to the Microsoft documentation page that shows you what properties are available. Also explanation on what they are doing. For example, I will be using hide update UI and also set to preboot. We'll be setting set to preboot to never and also we'll be hiding the update UI. Anyways, now I'll go back here. I will copy this name. Then I will go here, click on add, add the property name. For the value here, I will enter never. And then I will just click OK. Now let's add another. This time hide you update UI and the value for this one is true. Let's click OK. And this is basically everything that we need for the sound installation. Now other configuration that I would recommend is going to set feature installation sets, expand Microsoft Office and in here I would block Microsoft OneDrive from installing and also OneNote because both of them are very old. And that's it. Now we can save this customization file. And for that, I will go to file. I will click on save as. I will go to my desktop and then I will go to my office installation files and I will save the configuration file in here. Also, I will name it configuration. Then I will click save. If I go inside of the folder here, we can see a few new files. So we have this MSP file and also this XML file. And now with the configuration files that we have here, we can perform the sound installation. First, I will close the customization tool and go back to my command line. Here, we once again need to execute setup exe. This time we need to provide a parameter called admin file and then provide our customization file. So in this case, it's configuration.msp for me. Also, I will add in the beginning cmd slash c. This will allow us to see when the installation is finished uh, just by looking at the command line. Then I will press enter and we get this pop up, but it, it disappears. And as you can see, the command line is busy because the installation is happening. So now we need to wait a bit. 
And as you can see, the installation is over. If I go to my start menu, all apps, here we can see that we have the office programs. Let's open Excel. Here we can select whatever, ask me later. And basically everything seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.